friends, this is Lexi from Camp Joy. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what lives in your pond. Now, we have a video up on our website right now where our friend Christine went goop scooping within our pond and found a lot of cool creatures. She found some macroinvertebrates and things like tadpoles, and I'm sure you know about a lot of the bigger animals and creatures that live in the pond, like frogs and like fish. But what about those small ones that we can't even see? How can we look at those? Well, we have some microscopes set up in the Nature Center today, so we're going to be collecting a sample of water and seeing what we can find. All right, and here is our pond sample right here. Before we set up our slide, the first thing that we're going to want to do is mix around our sample because all of those living organisms and those things that we are trying to see tend to stick to the sides of the cup. So you want to make sure you get a nice even distribution. And then you're going to want to take your dropper, squeeze it and get a nice amount in there. And then you don't want to just pour it all on there. You only need about three drops right in the center where that magnification is. One, two, three. And then you're going to want to take your little slide cover. You're not going to want to plop it down on top. You're going to want to make sure you keep your fingers away from it so you're not getting a bunch of fingerprints. And you want to start at one end and gently press it down to the other, hand, other end there. So press it down, getting rid of all those bubbles. And that is your slide right there. All right, and now after I set up my slide, I just went ahead and plotted the sides of it to get the extra water. And now my slide is all set up in the microscope and I'm gonna show you how to work it. First, there should be a button for you to turn it on. Now it's on. And you can adjust the brightness of your light so that you can actually see what's inside the slide. Now it doesn't need to be turned all the way up like this. It's gonna hurt your eyes and you might not be able to see anything but just somewhere around the middle. You can play around with it while you're looking into the lens until it feels good. And then you have these different settings here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna look into the lenses here. You don't wanna close one eye or anything like that. You actually just wanna keep both your eyes open and kinda shift your eyes around the lens until you can actually see what's going on inside. And you have different settings here. You have these different knobs. I'm gonna turn the microscope for you so you can see. This knob here, this bigger knob, if you turn this, that's gonna actually move the slide up and down. You should only ever do this when your slide is currently on this red knob right here. That is the only time you wanna move the slide up and down. If you go onto different knobs, you see how it extends in length? If you're extending that, that's going up in magnification. So that's moving it closer to the slide. And if you move the slide up and down while you're on these higher powers, you could risk the slide hitting the lens here, and then you could either scratch the slide or the actual lens of your microscope, so you don't want to do that. But you want to get it at a nice height here in the microscope to see when it's not blurry anymore, and as soon as you get a good picture, you stop there. Then you can fine-tune your picture here with this little knob. And you can move this little knob on any of the powers. In fact, you're gonna to have to move it every time you switch. So you just wanna fine tune until you get a nice clear picture. Perfect. And now that you have that set up great, you can move the slide around with these knobs here. So if I'm twisting this way at the bottom, it's gonna move the slide left or right so you can see different things around the slide. And if I move this one at the top, I'm gonna move the slide up and down. So I'm gonna pick a nice spot on the microscope that I think you guys might want to look at. And I think right here would be perfect. All right. And if you look over towards our screen, we have our microscope set up with a camera so that you can see what's actually going on. This is on the lowest power. 
Now, if you were to have a fresh sample of pond water, you'd be able to see the living organisms actually moving around because we had to walk all the way from the pond to the nature center. All of the things that are in there are no longer moving. They're no longer alive, but you can still see them in there. So I hope that's a kind of clear picture for you. On this low power setting on this 30X, you can see things like protozoa and you can see some algae and some plants. And even without a magnifying, if you took a magnifying glass or just the naked eye and you looked really close, you could see things like Hydra and Daphnia. But if we really wanna see those higher power things, we're gonna have to switch powers here. So I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna switch to a higher power. I'm going to adjust my tuning here until we see a nice, clear picture. All right. Now you can see that really, really well. So that right there, that could be some form of algae or plant life that is growing that we might be able to see with the naked eye if it was bigger, but there's also smaller fragments where we can only look at it in a microscope. I'm gonna kind of pan around the slide and see if we can find anything else interesting on this middle power here. got something there. I'm going to put a link down the bottom of this video for some identifying keys of anything you might be able to find in a microscope in a pond sample that you might collect. All right. We're going to look around a little bit more on this power here to see if we can find anything really interesting. Even if you don't know what all of these things are in the microscope, I would highly suggest just going out, exploring what you can see, and maybe trying to describe it. Describe and draw what you see. All right. All right, friends. Thank you so, so much for joining us on our pond adventure today. I encourage you to go out, explore what you can find on your own. Even if you don't have any fancy materials like a microscope or anything like that, you can use a magnifying glass and see really cool things. You might not be able to see individual cells or certain bacteria, but you can still find some really cool things that you would have otherwise missed.